Recently, a new design for the Tempest Future Fighter has been revealed to the public. It has led to international interest as the UK shows off its latest project for the Air Force. The Tempest is a fighter aircraft which has been a part of the Global Combat Air Programme or the GCAP, which is a project led by the UK BAE Systems, Italy's Leonardo and Japan's Mitsubishi. Due to the recent reveal, we will have an in-depth analysis of the future Tempest fighter aircraft and its capabilities. As already mentioned, the Tempest is a 6th generation fighter aircraft currently in the works. It will be set to be in service in 2035 to gradually replace the Eurofighter Typhoon. It will incorporate deep learning AI and the ability to fly without being manned alongside hypersonic and laser weapons. Its main duty is to serve as an air-to-air -air or air-to-ground fighter alongside the ability to be flexible for ranged missions including recon, electronic warfare and the capacity to act effectively if in a hostile environment. The Tempest will be easily adaptable and upgradable to any situation it is placed in. It will also have the ability to control drones and unmanned airborne vehicles. Alongside that it will also have highly advanced stealth technology installed within its systems. Leonardo, the Italian defence company also assisting on the project, has also offered a radar warning receiver that is four times as accurate at a tenth of the size of the current radars planned to be in use of the current Tempest design. The Tempest also has two electrical generators which will produce ten times more power than that of the current Eurofighter Typhoons in service. It has also been promised that the Tempest will have a far greater range than the F-35s currently serving in the Royal Air Force. There has been some worries, however, about the affordability of the Tempest project. The British government has already spent £2 billion British pounds of spending for the project, however the total cost is set to be in the tens of billions of British pounds. Not to mention the fact that the current Prime Minister, Keir Starmer, has also refused to comment on the potential ruling out of the project altogether based on affordability. Despite the uncertainty, the fighter is set to be revolutionary for the Air Force, with international tech from Japan and Sweden alongside other nations. The 6th generation fighter is promised to be a fresh, highly capable and versatile aircraft for the Royal Air Force. If you are interested in keeping up to date with the military, no matter where you are, please consider subscribing to Armed Edge for future updates from the air, ground and sea.